But just a hypothetical, I guess, uh, if uh, human life uh, would be the basis of rights, should the government impose rules that then maximize the number of people who live? The question is, if human life is the state of value, should the government uh, impose rules that maximize the number of people who live? No. What the government should do is respect the fact that each individual's own mind is his own means of sustaining his life and making his decisions. And so even if a human being errs in his decision, even if you think that my decisions are bad, as long as my decisions are not violating the rights of others, neither you nor the government has any right to make me do anything, including eat a certain diet to make me live longer or whatever. Now the only reason why anybody, anyone might say, well, isn't this going to be a problem, is if you think the government is going to be out there taking care of people who have poor diets. But under less they fair notice I didn't talk about capitalism today much, because I wasn't talking about the consequence of rights. I was talking about how, where this idea even comes from. Normally people talk about rights and they're talking about, oh, here's this principle of individual rights, and we just have it, because it came either from God or from nature or whatever. So let's apply it now and see what we have a right to do. And that was not my talk today. My talk today is, where did this thing come from? Because if we don't know where it came from, and if we can't demonstrate that it's true, we're lost. So your question goes more to how does this apply, and I didn't speak much to that, but to, to, to uh, briefly elaborate on that. When, the government, when a government is formed, a proper government, it is formed to do one thing and only one thing, and that is protect rights by banning physical force and fraud from social relationships, and by using retaliatory force only against those who initiate force to begin with. So as long as you're not doing anything that violates rights, the government can't force you to do anything. They're hands off, less they fair. They do one thing and one thing only. And, and so, uh, no, they would not.